Kia ora team, Brad here, and I want to take you through a yoga routine that I've been doing for around seven years now. It's going to help make your hips feel better by making them stronger, more stable. You're going to have more control through range. You're going to work on your stability and your spinal rotation, all of which is going to add up to make you a more efficient runner. So are you ready? Let's go. Alrighty. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with this lovely wide stance, making sure that that heel is in line with the arch of that foot and coming into that nice warrior two position, just going down into that position, stretching out those adductors, getting these hips going. And then once you've been here for a little bit, we're going to take that front elbow onto the knee and then really stretch out that side body. Okay, so your left side body those lats just stretching Ooh, and remember to take some nice slow deep breaths when you're in this, these positions maybe even two or three deep breaths for each position now if you want to progress this a little bit more we're going to take the elbow off the knee and put that hand down on the inside of that front leg and reach up and then if it's there for you have a look up at that top hand this makes that balance a little bit trickier. And then to progress, take this top hand, wrap it round your back and try and hang on to your thigh if you can. Oh, spinal twists are so good. Hold there for a little bit. Now let's come out of this position nice and slowly, take that elbow up to the knee and then up and then that back foot. You're gonna take it out so you're gonna go from a straight line to a train track, take that back foot to around 45 degrees, rotate those hips round to the front, arms up, and stretch forward. So we're going from a warrior two to a warrior one. Just holding here for a little bit, a few nice deep breaths, and then that back foot, we're gonna rotate up onto the ball of the foot, and just try and stretch a little bit deeper, if you can, into this lovely lunge stretch. So good for you. Now, you're gonna take your left hand, place it opposite that front foot, and then twist up. Again, these spinal twists, so therapeutic for that spine. A few nice deep breaths here. And then we're gonna swap over. So placing your right hand right next to that front foot and then rotating the other way. A few nice breaths there. Right, let's move on to a little bit of balance. Now this is always challenging. So you're gonna take both hands, spread them on either side of that front foot. You're gonna take this back foot up a little bit and then come into a warrior three position. So if it's there for you, you're gonna come on up. And then what you can do is either have your hands behind you, out into an aeroplane, or forward into that full warrior three. Really working on that balance. So good for your running. You can get more balanced and control in the single foot stance work. Really helps that power on push off. Now, from here, if you can, without touching down, come on up and hug that knee. Again, really working on that balance. Soft stance knee. So don't straighten it out, but have it just slightly bent. Ooh, can you feel that burn in that foot, in that stance foot? Then with this, you can come into a tree pose, so either above or below the knee and hold that position. Oh, if you have to touch down, do so. Otherwise try and hold that nice tree position, really forcing that sole of the foot into your thigh or your calf, and just try and hold it there. Whew. Nice work, team. All right, that's one side done. Let's move to the other. So, here we go. Starting off into that nice warrior two. So making sure front foot, the heel is aligned with the arch of that back foot. You're on a nice line. 
come on up, sink into that stretch, hold. Breathe nice and deep. Make sure your torso is aligned above those hips. Now we're gonna come forward a little bit, take that front elbow onto the knee, and again we're gonna stretch out that side body. So stretching out your right side body, just sink into it, elongate up, stretch. Now to progress this, if it's there for you, remove that front elbow from that knee and drop the hand on the inside of that front leg and then mirror it with the, uh, the hand above. And again, if it's there for you, have a look at that top hand. It makes the balance heaps tougher if you look at that hand. <sighs> nice work, team. How's that stretch? How are those hips feeling? Mine are already feeling a little bit looser. Now, let's get out of this slowly. Take that elbow to the knee. Come on up. Then you're gonna move that back foot out so you're on train tracks rather than a straight line. Move the back foot to around 45 degrees. Rotate those hips round to the front. Sink into this stretch. So a bit of a warrior one. Come on up. I always like to have my hands on top of each other in a sort of a swimmer's streamline pose, working on my swimming ability. And just hold that stretch again. You know, two or three deep breaths. You can even hold it for a little bit longer if you want to. Just sink into that stretch. Try to relax if it's a little bit uncomfortable. And then you're gonna swivel that back foot round just like we did in the first half to the ball of the foot. You can hold that stretch and just sink a little bit deeper into this lovely warrior one. Hold. Right, let's do a little bit of spinal twisting. So come on down. You're gonna place your right hand next to that foot, and then you're gonna twist up. Take that top hand up, look at it if you can. Hold, so sinking into that nice lunge stretch while rotating the spine. So therapeutic, really, really good for your running. If you can get a little bit more supple around the hips and the spine, you're gonna flow way better. Now let's reverse it, so you're going to take that top hand down, place right beside your foot and then lift up the other hand. So again, just rotating. Remember the more supple you are, the easier it is to get into a flow state when you're running. Better energy efficiency, basically better speed, better performance, who doesn't want that? Ooh. Now you might see me shaking a little bit, that's a good thing. Now, come on down. Now we're gonna move into that balance phase. So what I'd like you to do is to come forward, weight into that front foot, and then come on up so you're just nice and balanced. So again, you can have those hands behind you, aeroplane, or forward into that full warrior three position and just hold. Again, make sure that knee is soft. Don't straighten it out fully. Hold. Great to work on those single stunts. As I said before, really helps with running. Get a little bit more control, a little bit more stability. It's gonna carry forward into running economy, running efficiency, better power, better speed. Now, come on up if you can without touching down and bring that knee up and hug and hold and then from this position we're going to move into tree pose so tree pose remember taking the sole of the foot either to the calf or above the knee into the thigh push the sole of the foot hard into the leg hold and if you want to progress this you can take the arms out or above just makes it a little bit tougher just try and really work on that single stance. Feel those feet heat up a little bit. It's all those smaller muscles around the calf having to work to stabilize. Again, brilliant for your running. Good work. Now, come on out of that. Oh yeah, excellent stuff. Now, let's work the adductors a little bit more. So I want you to come into a nice 
wide stance. Just angle the feet in just a little bit and you're gonna come on down. And then you're gonna walk your hands towards your right ankle, hanging onto that ankle with your left hand. So you're really stretching out that thoracic spine. I see so many people that are so tight in their thoracic spine, it really hampers breathing, hampers your running efficiency. So really work on this. Great thing about this is you're working on your spinal twisting with your hip range as well. Now other side, just walk those hands over. So let go, you're gonna to walk towards your left foot and hang on to it with your right hand. Hang on to the ankle with your right hand and get that lovely stretch again through the lat, the shoulder, thoracic spine. Great work. Again, you're gonna see me shaking a little bit. That's good, it means those muscles are really having to work hard to try and hold this position. Now, let go, walk to the middle. Come on up nice and slow, engaging those glutes. A nice stretch up again. Swimmer's position if you want, hands on top. Come on up, bring those shoulders back behind your ears and just arch back a little bit. It's a great full body stretch. And then bring those arms down and try and keep them back. Nice big stretch, open up that chest. This is such a good position. You need to do this more during your day, especially if you're working in a desk. Get up, do this. All right, team, almost there. These are my favorite. This is a dancer's pose, really stretches out the quad and the hip flexor. So I want you to hang on to the inside of the foot, to the big toe side of the foot, and you're gonna come on over and push that back foot into the hand and stretch out. So this is again working on their balance. Single stance control, plus you're getting the stretching of the quad and hip flexor. Again, this is gonna help your stride length when you're running, and you're working on your stability at the same time. How good is this? How good is yoga? Every runner should do it. Now, other side, same thing. So, get that stance foot nice and controlled. Splay the toes a little bit and then hang on to the inside of that foot, big toe side, and push that back foot into the hand and stretch on up. Awesome. Dancer's pose, but helps runners. Push, push, hold it. Challenge yourself. Nice work, and then come on down. Whew, shake it out a little bit. Couple of deep breaths. How good does that feel? Thanks for joining me, team. I bet you feel a little bit lighter, and I guarantee in your next run, you're gonna be a little bit faster. So any questions, please comment below. And otherwise, go out there, earn those miles, get strong, get more balanced, more flexible with some yoga, champion compassion, and I look forward to catching up with you on the next video.